Creating a hierarchy. So to create a hierarchy, we are going to link objects together to create a chain. So first we need to create those objects. So I'm going to create a sphere. And that's going to be my parent. And then I'm going to create a teapot, which will be my child. All right. To build the link, we're going to go up into the main toolbar and say and pick on select and link. Uh, we have to have the child object selected. We're going to go up and then select the select and link. Now I'm going to hold on with my left mouse button. I'm going to hold on from the child, which is a teapot. I'm going to drag a line over to the parent, which is my sphere. I'm going to let go. And now it created a link between the two. I could actually go and link more child objects if I want, but I'm going to exit. To exit the command, I'm going to go up and say select object. And when I select the select object, I exited the command. Now I'm going to test it out. I'm going to pick on my parent object here, this sphere. And I'm going to use a selected move. And I'm going to move it, and you'll see both objects are linked together and move whenever the parent moves. Now, when I pick on this item here, notice the child moves, but the parent doesn't. So when the parent moves, so does the child. When the child moves, the parent doesn't move. Okay? So here we have a child-parent relationship with the child being the teapot, the parent being the sphere. Now if I want to unlink them, I'm going to go up and pick on my child and go up into my main toolbar and go to unlink selection. It breaks the link and now I have no connection between the two, no chain between the two. So to create a hierarchy we want to use the select and link tool.